quite a gesticular per for recording. Hey everybody, Jack from Nutshell here. Today we're gonna to talk about one of the big questions we get from small businesses and marketers alike. Everybody knows that salespeople love their CRMs and spend tons of time each day using them. But what about marketers? What types of marketing, if any, can be done with a CRM? Well, the answer is a lot. A lot of marketing can be done with a CRM. We wrote an article that outlines about 13 different activities that make CRMs valuable marketing tools. That link is in the description. But in the meantime, I'm gonna walk through the big four or five or four and a half. And fun fact, we in this room, Ben and Rebecca behind the camera, are marketers at a CRM company who use our own CRM to market our CRM to salespeople and marketers. So this is kind of like our favorite topic. All right, let's dive in. And we'll start with newsletter distribution. It's a huge one. We have our own newsletter called Sell to Win and we create, design, send, and track it all through our CRM. Using a CRM for newsletter distribution will help you segment your audiences, tailor custom content to each audience, track engagement, resuscitate cold leads, reuse email templates, and so on. You can also see who's opening, who's engaging, and who's ignoring your emails, which gives you insight into how to manage your distribution more effectively. Like if someone gets all your emails and never opens them, it might be a good idea to stop emailing them entirely. Another big one is the visibility you get into your audiences. Like inside your CRM, you can see if a user has downloaded a piece of content from your website, attended a webinar about your product, and so on. Any trackable content you have out there will show up in your CRM, giving you more insight into how to segment and approach your audience. CRMs capture tons and tons of useful data about customers and prospects. By the time they reach the bottom of your funnel, they've already been added to a pipeline that matches their persona. They've already engaged with content, progressed through your sales processes, and expressed an interest in a product. At this point, all the information you've gathered thus far can be leveraged to make targeted and relevant content and offers. And furthermore, if you're passing this lead off to a salesperson, they already know enough about the prospect and their situation to handle the lead accordingly. So let's zoom out for a sec, because we're alluding to the source and sale phenomenon. From the moment a prospect interacted with a landing page to their first time opening a newsletter, and every step in between, you and your CRM were there. So picture this funnel report. A bunch of people hit the landing page, a few of them convert, a few of those conversions open and click newsletters, and so on. You can use this source to sale perspective to determine which steps are converting properly and which ones need to be tweaked. Also, if you need to rethink your marketing funnel entirely, the CRM data will give you all the information you need to do that right. And now marketers, one bonus CRM task just for you. Everybody hates managing backlinks, but since you need to do it, you should be doing it in your CRM. You can write your standard backlink outreach email template and customize it on a one-off basis and hook it up to a backlink pipeline. This makes it way easier than just pestering other marketers via email. You can actually keep track of progress and more importantly, keep an up-to-date record of who you've collaborated with in the past, which is super useful. God forbid you send a cold email to someone who's been your friend for a while. So those are some of my favorites, but we've got a blog post full of all the things marketers should be doing with a CRM. And we've linked to that in the description. Be sure to check it out and visit our website, nutshell.com for more sales and marketing strategy. Again, I'm Jack Virag and thank you for watching.